Good morning from sunny Florida where it's 80 degrees out in my garage right now but I have the temperature in the studio it's 74 this is a little video to show you how I've made my trimming tools out of paper clips I do use other the professional made tools but I just thought for anyone that would like more variation and not spend that much money what I use are paper clips and old pens now the old pens you have to set them up in such a way that they don't have any obstruction such as this one here had a bunch of stuff in it that I ended up cutting a piece off the end but you poke it through and make sure that the skewer or the packing tool that you're going to use can go all the way through because I take the piece that I've already twisted into shape and I don't know that I really have to show you how I do that but you can twist it into different shapes to give you different looks on your pottery and these are good for doing feet and uh, there's a v-shape you could use it in, in many different variations so once I've destroyed the pen well actually not always the case this one came apart very nicely but you do want to make sure that there's no obstructions you want to use an epoxy putty called JB Weld well it's not necessarily JB Weld any kind of epoxy putty you don't want to use the epoxy glue or because that doesn't hold well it has to be the putty and the putty you mix together after cutting off an amount you mix it together until it is well mixed and it's consistently one color and you don't want to be too slow in this process because the JB weld will set up fairly quickly so this is mixing it well so I'm hoping it will be good this is some old it's probably been sitting for a year maybe longer not doing anything and it had been open so I thought oh my goodness it might not work but I think it's going to be fine because it is flexible they're mixing well together and once I've got them mixed together then I want to roll it out the size so it will fit inside that pen tube so I think it's mixed we'll go ahead and roll it out somewhat like a piece of spaghetti of course the way I roll things it might end up being more like linguine not really that more round so much as flat but you get the idea all right I hope that's narrow enough you want it so that it will slide down inside the pen it doesn't have to go all the way down you can just cut a piece off make it a wee bit smaller again it's getting it down to the end okay now of course I've set this aside here we go here's my skewer and I'm going to push it all the way down and at the same time I'm doing that I'll take this I'll use this one stick it up in there okay now this is where you're taking you it. 
try and stuff that epoxy down and make sure that it's around the paper clip at the bottom. Now this one is going to have an ugly looking end but I don't really care because this is the end that counts. Later on, some point, I'm hoping to make a video, I'm not very adept at making these videos yet, and show you the results of what these paper clip what should we call them uh, foot tools are like what the results are all right we'll do one more take a little bit more chunk take it off we'll roll it out a wee bit thinner all right and oh this is a shorter pen this one should really go down fairly far oh it's half practically filling up the whole thing stuff it down in there all right this is more of a square foot if you look at that <coughs> i hope i can get this on yes we can get it on and we can actually see the putty down there so that's that's a good start but I'm going to pack it down anyway. And this one actually is going to end up a little bit longer. And there we have another one. This is more of a square foot. So, now this one. We're going to put in this one because it's this has got a wider bottom on it. Now I can feel already that this epoxy is getting hard, so this is probably the last rollout I'll get from this lot, and so I just send the whole thing down. Yeah, felt it drop. Okay, I don't want to pack it too hard because it might not allow me to get this in. Now, for some reason, this isn't cooperating with me. Oh, I see. Here we go. We'll take this, shove it up into the pen. Very stiff. And that was the last one. So, that's how I make these little simple trimming tools. And as you can see, I've made this is a thinner gauge paper clip uh, with no plastic on it. And this one is another thinner gauge one. This is one of my favorites. Where is it? Uh, oh, this one. The APG electric doll. This is one of my favorite drumming tools. But that's just because I don't know what I'm doing. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. And uh, that way, and check off if you want to be notified of any other videos coming up. If I ever make any more, but I'm sure I will because I'm enjoying this and hopefully sharing something that might be helpful to somebody else. Take care and keep on potting.